Ciudad Juarez, the largest binational nucleus of the world, a great place of opportunity for men and women alike have the chance to work in maquiladoras. Also, it is a great place for tourism. But amidst all of this opportunity, there lies a darker reality. Over the past two years, Juarez has seen an increase in violence due to the warring cartels. The increase of the demand of drugs and money laundering has been followed by an increase in the death counts in Mexico. The drug lords are battling to gain territory of Mexico's towns bordering the United States. The cartels kidnap, assassinate, and destroy rival cartel property and personnel. Innocent bystanders have been trapped in the crossfire as the cartels battle for valuable territory. Taking into consideration that the United States has a big impact on this war, they have taken a wait-and-see attitude as the Mexican government loses control of their power. Who are the ones being affected most by this violence? What's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? No puedo decir. I can't say. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Dieciocho. Eighteen. <clears throat> what are some of the things that you've seen? ¿Cuáles son algunas cosas de las que has visto? He visto muchas cosas, vato. Martes en mi barrio. Venta de coca, marihuana, de todo, vato. I've seen a lot of stuff. Deaths in my neighborhood. The selling of cocaine, marijuana, everything. And uh, what have the police done? ¿Qué ha hecho la policía? No, esos marranos están con los carteles. No se tiene que cuidar solo. No hay que confiar, no más que en ti mismo. Nah, those pigs are with the car cartels. One has to take care of himself. There's nobody to trust. You can only trust yourself. What can you tell us about the cartels? ¿Qué nos puedes decir de los carteles? Son los que controlan todo. They control everything. Are you involved with any of them? ¿Estás involucrado con alguno de ellos? Simón. Yes. Which one? Con cuál? Cartel de Juarez. The Juarez cartel. <clears throat> Are you scared to die? Tienes miedo a morir? No, man, I die for the ones who die for me, my gang. So why do you torture people? And why do you torture people? Many times because they take the language and because they are dumb. A lot of times because they talk. Many victims of the drug cartel fighting have ended up in El Paso, Texas, either by threat or by injury. At least two victims from Juarez drug fights have landed at El Paso's R.E. Thomason General Hospital. We're afraid of getting in a car, getting in a taxi, uh, walking in the street alone, uh, going by the hand with your child. Claudia Wallace's 35-year-old brother Hugo was kidnapped while on a date in Mexico City. A month after he disappeared, his mother, Maria Isabel, got a ransom note with this picture of him. When you saw the photo, what did you think? For me, it was very difficult, but at the same time, we were laughing and screaming of joy because we were now waiting for someone to call. Innocent bystanders that just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time have gotten killed in the crossfire between battling cartels. Cartels have also gradually expanded their empires into human smuggling, extortion, and kidnapping. They kidnap the rich, important people of Juarez and ask for huge amounts of ransom in order to be released. Just last week in the city of Juarez, cartels threatened to kill a police officer every 48 hours until the police chief resigned. After two murders, he did. Juarez's mayor just moved his own family to Texas. Stakes are high uh, for uh, the safety of many, many uh, citizens of Mexico, and the stakes are high for the United States, no doubt. Ninety percent of the arms that are being used by the cartels from, come from the United States. Half of what we see, uh, fifty-five percent, are assault rifles, and this is what gives these groups this intimidation power. 2,200 grenades, missile and rocket launchers, barred 50 caliber sniper rifles. It might surprise you to learn where all these guns are coming from. It turns out 90% of them are purchased in the U.S. The Second Amendment was never designed to arm criminal groups, and especially not foreign criminal groups as it is today.
in the U.S. for not doing more to, to stop this We flow. believe that there is more to be done, and we need a much more committed effort from the U.S. There should be a shared solution between Mexico and the United States. We believe that illegal drug trade requires a shared solution between the United States and Mexico, since most of the financing for the Mexican traffickers comes from the American drug consumers. No time will only tell what may happen if the violence remains unchecked. One foreseeable outcome is that the violence will continue and the U.S. will have to intervene in an effort to keep the violence contained on foreign soil. Future generations must be protected, and we hope that we can stop the murders, dealings, and kidnappings before it is too late. We do hope that our children will not have to deal with this type of violence, and we must make sure that this is stopped before we lose total control of an important trade partner and ally on our own continent. It is difficult to predict the outcome of this war, but it is certain that in Mexico, Chaos reigns.